All right, everybody, let's do my preview for the new mutant Andre the Giant, the monstrophious whatever mountain. Let's, this is the setup I'm going to be running this afternoon. Choke hold level 14. Submission hold generate 22 random submission gems for... 109,668 damage for five turns and submission. It gems remaining on the board will become a mobile gems. But if um if the opponent hits the hits the hits the gems, I think the 109,668 is. What happens each time, it's quite devastating from what I've done so far. The second move is the other green move, two-handed choke slam. 78,979, choose three rows to make into a mobile jams. And then the mutant body slam. Yellow move, level 14, deal. 39, 944, damage and make 27 immobile gems into green gems. So what we were, what we were going to do in the match, we were going to hit this two-handed choke slam first. And then we were going to hit the mutant bodies, body slam stomp. Um... Then, if the match is not over after these two moves right here, this move should be ready. The two-handed choke slam should be ready again, and then the choke slam should be happening, and pretty much it should be over. Um, it, the character is pretty jacked up here in this preview. Here is my uh, entourage for Andre the mutant Andre the Giant. We're running George the Animal Steel. The kick these green moves off even faster and we got Mr. O-Train here he's going to help with the move green move damage it by 30% and you got Hall of Fame Scott Hall here is, green moves are going to do 5% more damage and We got green submission moves. They're going to be up 10%. He's not even leveled or anything. He's just there. I don't know why I put him there. I'm wasting 10k in um, coins by doing this. But um, yeah, I, I guess he's helping to build somehow. All right, let's go to the let's go to this. I, I really like the way they've done this. Andre the Giant here, the way his skin is like, um, is like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's, it's kind of like he's old and he's like, his skin is, you know, you know, like the old statues and whatever, but he looks like he's pretty, um, pretty jacked up. All right, let's see how he does here and we're in hell mode of the tour. Wait a minute, there's no sound. Wait one second. One second. Got no game sound. We got no game sound. That's not good. Alright. Oh, get this. I am so sick of this Andre the Giant ad that keeps coming up here. Every second or something trying to get us to buy that Andre the Giant pack for $9.99. How do you out of your mind? All right, back. Sorry about that. Let's go. I can hit the right thing. That would be this Fantastico. Okay. Where am I? Why am I over here? 
All right, we're off the rails here for a couple seconds. We'll get back to it. Here we go. All right, now we're on hell mode of the Andre the Giant. Mutant Andre the Giant. Hall of Fame Undertaker, 17K. Roster talent is going to be going up against the 17K Andre the Giant. Did I? Yeah, Hall of Fame Taker. All right, let's do this. Let's see how things go. All right, we got the green move right off the jump. Okay, you want to kind of put these down here where you kind of have green so you can kind of get an extra gem cascade here. You don't really got a lot going on with this. Oh, right there. Okay. Okay, we're still going to get that. We're going to get we're going to get these down here. So we're going to get an extra 3 and the ones up here also. So I guess that's not bad. Now we're going to hit this mutant uh, body slam stomp thing. I think he just drops him pretty much and then, um, yeah, stomps on his back. But you know Andre the Giant. He was no little guy. All right. So everything's ready to go again. I thought in early matches I thought this was stop Scott Hall for somehow for some reason. Okay, we'll hit this green move again. And put those down there. And now we're gonna hit the submission. And hopefully Hopefully Hall of Fame Taker takes out some of these submission dams for that huge amount of damage. I'm hoping that happens because I have not had a match go past this submission yet. Testing this out and I just won. Boom. Boom. For some reason he has no choice but to go after those. And that'll kill him every time. Mutant Andre the Giant takes out Hall of Fame Taker. Turn one. Or is it turn two? I don't know anymore. I guess it's turn two, but whatever. Don't matter, we got the win. All right, let's see how he does against, I, I don't know if this is the rated R superstar, who is this? Yeah, uh, they just call him Edge, but anyways, it's the newest Edge. Let's see what he can do here. 17K talent against 17K talent. Should probably be about the same thing. Hopefully. Oh, the Iconist. Whatever that means. Why can't you say that on the third thing? Is it too much? All right. We got a lot of green right here. Oh, let's do this right here. Hopefully Edge does not get off his submission here. That derailed the whole thing. I don't think so. I don't think he gets it off in his first turn. Wow, he just shreds through that like it's butter. He doesn't have a skip turn, so we're going to do this again. Down here. Hopefully hit the submission and he has no choice but to hit those. 
Got him. Let's go. They finally get Andre the Giant right with this with this character. His other ones, I guess, have not been that swell. To me, the showboat Andre the Giant is the best one other than this one now. Alright, we got 20 shards for Mutant Andre the Giant. That's going to really help me. I might get him in five years from now. Maybe. Alright, we got two more matches to go. Now we're going to go against Mr. RKO himself, rated R, or, um, the legend killer, whatever, Randy Orton, RK Bro, I don't know. I think this is just um, great. Rated R or whatever. Oh, it is RK, bro. Okay, whatever. They both look identical to each other. Then uh, Scopely really did a lazy job of this one. Oh, come on now. I hit the thing. Don't play me that way. All right, we got that. Alright, we're getting a lot of extra cascades going there. Alright, Randy, let's see what you do. Alright. Put those right there. Wow, that don't beat him somehow. Somehow he's still there. I guess this is trouble now because I you would have thought the match would have been over, done for. Uh, do this just cuz That was pretty devastating, still. Let's go. So I think that got the turn three. That was the hardest match that I've done so far with uh, this meet and Andre the Giant. And the 30 shards, whoop de doo So we're up to 50 shards, so the next match will give us 50 more shards for Immune Andre the Giant. whoop de doo Scopely, you're giving me 100 shards of somebody that needs 2,000. Um, yeah, I only need 1,900 more. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's see how this goes. Who are we up against? I'm not even paying attention anymore. All right. LWO LJ Eddie Guerrero. I'd rather not take out these green ones. 
replace the green ones with green ones. That's kind of dumb. But anyway. Ninety-nine percent of the time, when Andre the Giant slammed you in a match, you were done. Um, he didn't need to step on your back. That's just a thought. He's going to last to turn three. Just like Randy Orton did. All these immobile gems are going to be ready to go, go. Bang! Wow, let's go. my 50 shards let's go all right that'll do it for my preview for mutant andre the giant like comment and subscribe for more wwe champions content let me know what did you think of the video what did you think of mutant andre the giant you think he's the best andre the giant in the game do you think you think you're gonna go after you're gonna get on this mutant andre the giant what do you think of the video? Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this kind of content.